Those bats are hot for Hawaii. And Majum, the WAC Conference Freshman of the Year. At bat now for Hawaii is Jessica Iwata, the WAC Conference Player of the Year, and she's a true freshman. You talk about some young studs. These guys are knocking it out the park. And Jessica Iwata's second, Melissa Gonzalez, third, Jenna, Rod Jenna Rodriguez, Alex Aguirre, sixth is Kanani Pu'u Warren, and then at 7-8-9 spot is Amanda Tawali'i. Solo home runs in both of her games here in regional play. Katie Grimes. And last but not least, Tracy Yoshikawa. Coaching for Hawaii, the head coach is the WAC Conference Coach of the Year, Bob Coolin. Wesleyan, class of 1980. And associate head coach, D. Wineski, Hawaii, class of 96. And another Hawaii alum is the, assist, uh, the assistant coach, uh, Kaulana Williams, class of 2009. And volunteer coach for Hawaii, Dickie Titcomb. Well, as it looks like Texas Tech is going to get a new pitcher out there inside the circle. Shannon Hayes did not wait to remove Merlick. Her only strike that she threw was a home run by Majum. Otherwise, three balls, and here comes Ashley Brokeshoulder. Well, it's interesting that Ashley Jacobs and Ashley Brokeshoulder did not start here in the circle. Jacobs, with almost the, the, the no-hitter, perhaps she needed some time to rest off. Maybe she'll come in as a relief pitcher and finish the game. But Brokeshoulder's been pitching excellently. And uh, Coach Hayes has been t talking her up in all the post-game press conferences, and she's done a good job in holding down uh, teams' batting, batting heat. So for Merlick, that's tough. Her first pitch was knocked out the car park and I was just going to ask you know what would that do to a pitcher's confidence what kind of mental toughness you have to have to stick through that not even given it she's not given the chance though to stick it out coach took her out early wasn't taking the chance yeah and your season's on the line here it's an elimination game if you feel as if your pitcher doesn't have it take her out and I think that's a, a smart decision Marlick did not look comfortable on the mound and you know she can come back in this game it's not like baseball where once you have a relief pitcher come on for you, that's your afternoon. Merle can come back. And Certainly. It's going to be all up on bro Broke's shoulder, though, to try and silence this Hawaii attack. Well, Merle, she's a sophomore. She's got some playing experience, and uh, hopefully she'll stay with it and stay positive for her team as that one's popped into right field. Looks like Raven Richardson is going to try and make the play. Hall came over, too, but they could not. Or oh, actually, it was Grab down was Hall or Richardson could not see from the angle I was sitting yeah, at. It was Logan Hall who made it just behind Richardson's back, uh, calling her off the last moment. Great defense. The wind starting to play a little bit of a role here, knocking that one around a few feet in the air. Gave it some time for the players, the Texas Tech players, to get under it. Much sunnier day. Still, wind is already playing a factor. And that's a strike. It might be a little high, but uh, certainly gets within the strike zone, just barely over the right corner of the plate, a little outside. A little low and inside there. The count is now 2 and 1 with one out. Hawaii at bat. Melissa Gonzalez, third baseman, batting best on the team, 412 coming into today. As she swings and misses. The count is now even, two and two. And Gonzalez, what some people are calling arguably Hawaii's most consistent hitter throughout the course of season. She entered the tournament with a 399 batting average, so that's improved 13 points. She knocks that one up and out, but outside the lines into foul territory. So 
So Gonzalez was the number three leading batting average hitter coming into this weekend. Now she's number one with her stellar performance. Three run homer yesterday. She has 24 on the year. Now when bounces before it hits the plate. Now, broke shoulder, leading in the circle, pitching in the circle for her Texas Tech Red Raiders. They're wearing the red and gray uniforms, Hawaii in the gray and green. That's a little outside, and that's going to be ball four. She walks Gonzalez, and now with one out, and Gonzalez on first, that brings on Jenna Rodriguez, DP. Batting 357, good hitter. Everybody here is a good hitter on the Hawaii team. Everybody do it. Let's go. They hit 328 as a team. That's seventh in the nation. They lead in a number of categories in the nation. Home runs, scores, scores, uh, amount of runs per game. Nineteenth ranked in the nation. It would be quite an upset if Texas Tech won today. Well, it would send them into a second game, actually, because it is a double elimination. If Texas Tech wins, these two teams would face off again. At as close to 3.30 p.m. as possible. So tune in if that action needs to take place. And she slams that one into the stands on the left side of the field. Count stays the same. One ball, two strikes, one out. Gonzalez on first. The score is tied here. Majin quickly knocking out the park. Action to Kenny. Mikey Kenny with the ball at center field. She's going to throw it into Legler to keep the runners at first and second. But everyone's safe for Hawaii. And now I bat Alex Aguirre, left fielder. She's batting 312 on the season. Number 14, Alex Aguirre. Well, Score is 1-1, one, one, the first at-bat against Carly Merlick, who's in the circle for one pitch. Majum knocked it out the park over the head of Kenny in center field, tied the game up. And now we have broke shoulder in the circle for Texas Tech. Score is tied, and she's got two runners on. She's had a walk. And she's facing off against Alex Aguirre at the plate. I see Ashley Jacobs working in the bullpen te for Texas Tech. Shannon Hayes gave Merlick the very quick hook, and if Broke's shoulder runs into trouble, maybe we see Jacobs. A little too far outside. Good eye by Aguirre. No, and it looks like the tea leaves are here, the Hawaii fans. There's apparently a woman who brings the tea leaves. They look like big palm tree leaves almost. And she brings them from Hawaii for the fans to hold. And when the Hawaii team scores, makes a good play, they wave it in the air. I've also heard it's good for shade and fanning yourself in hot weather. <laughs> yeah, I, could, I could use one of those right now. Yeah. Kevin... Prepared for the cold weather, did not bring sunblock today. Very poor decision on my part. <laughs> I look forward to a tan. And that's going to be a strike. A little high gave it to her. Down the center of the plate, fastball. Count advances to 3-1. and one. Broke shoulder behind in the count. And that's going to be knocked right into Legler's glove there. She can't make the play at third. Can't get it to Bledsoe with the toss over there. Falls out of her hands, and everyone's safe. Base is loaded. And that will bring Kanani Puhu Warren, right fielder for the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine, batting, th batting 256 on the season. She's got the bases loaded, only one out. And it could be dangerous here for Texas Tech. You don't want to let Hawaii get put too many runs up early because they can go on a streak at any point. They are number one in the nation in scoring. 
462 runs. Strike. She doesn't like it, but the umpire gives it to her. Looks like Willie Newman is giving that strike to Bro Broke Shoulder. Count now, 0-1, one out. Bases loaded. <laughs> 